Hello everybody, I'm Scott, this is Andrew, we're the Dirt Chimps, and together we're your hosts for the annual Adventure Bike Gathering. Today, we're going to go up and over a mountain, fully loaded with all of our camping gear. Alright! This is Andrew's bike. You might have noticed these are identical Husqvarna 501 S's. Uh, Andrew, tell us about your setup. First of all, we have to say that we love Giant Loop. We run this stuff on all of our bikes, the Mojave bags, all of our dirt bikes, even our snow bikes. We've got around the world panniers for our 1090s. And this is a Coyote setup. All my camping gear in here. I've got my emergency stuff on the back and a Revelstoke bag. And just for fun, I threw four liters of water hanging off the side. Yeah, this is our setup for going deep into the mountains. So we have all safety, all mechanical, plus full camping, because we're, we're training for something. We'll tell you about that a bit more. All right, guys, this is my bike. Her name is Bebe. I'm running the Krieger gear, which is new to me. I have 12 liters in the side, 28 to 40 flexible on the top, another 12 over here. Same sort of layout as Andrew with full mechanical, full safety, all the food, camping gear. I did take up my tent and sleeping bag so I can be carrying this big fancy camera and the tripod. Other than that, uh, this is pretty legit. This is the way that we roll when we go camping. All right, we are rolling. We're headed to the Park Mountain in the beautiful North Okanagan of British Columbia. As we're just getting rolling here, let me tell you a couple things about what's happened to my bike over the last 24 hours. After all that camping gear went on, I went to Rider's Edge Suspension and they addressed my suspension beautifully. So. We took the bags off, weighed them, 44 pounds is what they weighed in at. They took my rear spring out and went up two full spring rates. Sorry, I don't know what the exact numbers are. It doesn't matter. And then they reduced the rebound a little bit so this wouldn't be so pogo-y. The effect of that has been to stiffen up the rear end but also to get a more positive front tire contact patch. And let me tell you, it makes a huge difference. And the way I know that is I rode Andrew's bike about 20 minutes ago when we first hit the gravel and it was downright dicey. So he's gonna survive today on that thing, but I'm feeling really planted. So how does the bike feel so far? Well, it kind of feels like I'm riding a clapped out trials bike after a massive Thanksgiving dinner. Uh, it's kind of darting all over the place. When I hit the gas or shift, the thing really bobs and squats, and the front end is uh, dipping and diving a bit. It's going to make for an interesting ride today. This, folks, is the beginning of the trail. Now, if you come to the Adventure Bike Gathering, we're going to give you the coordinates for this, or you can just come with us. This is probably the premier trail for the hardcore people, especially if you're on a pretty big bike. This is uh, six kilometers of crazy. It covers four separate mountains, two small mountains, two big mountains. This is the first of the two big mountains. And then Sugar is the next big mountain, and it's really cool. Anyways, we're going to try a little drone action in here and uh, see how it goes. We're having some problems with the drone, but do what we can. Let's get going. Chunky down there. Definitely want to pick your lines in here. This is great. Come on. Stay on the pegs. Look ahead. Yeah, this is awesome. See, I don't want to be out here on my 1090. I'm an hour and a half from town. If something goes bad, that bike goes down and I break my leg. It's bad. It's really bad. 
like much more forgiving and when it starts to go down I can sometimes even stop her from falling over oh that was fun okay I'm gonna set up and get some shots of Andrew come on through that okay I'm all set up this is a really cool camera this is this is the one we love to bring out when we can because it takes beautiful video footage. It's called an FX3. We're kind of spoiled in the camera department. But it's scary carrying this thing, man, when you're on a bike and you crash like I do. It's scary. So we'll wait for Andrew and hopefully get a good shot. All right, let's see if this thing does off-road. Hopefully a little better than on-road. Nope, it's... Uh, <laughs> Lots of traction, I'll give it that. But man, I can't steer. That wheel is just in the air all the time. We're just gonna take our time here, guys. <laughs> all right, not so bad. Looking way out with a big old smile. The front tire is so light. We remember all these body position things standing look ahead elbows out bum back all that But if we're just a big limp noodle, that's a problem. We got to engage our core to help keep ourselves safe Prevent injuries ride better Now well, this is beautiful up here Temperature is great no bugs, nice rocks, stunning. Get a real sense of adventure when you're out here. That's why we're doing it, right guys? Adventure! During the adventure bike gathering, if you're feeling rather spicy, you got lots of energy, and you've got some like-minded individuals, definitely grab on to uh, this route. If it's within your abilities, safety margins, it's the 6K of crazy, up and over four mountains. Truly stunning, this is mountain number three. We're only doing this one today. But remember, this is a fully loaded camping training ride. See how these bikes handle. But uh, what a great place to come. ready for a long day though like 10 hours okay here's the chalet for the sledders in the winter or snow bikers oh. <laughs> yeah. looks a lot bigger when there's not 10 feet of snow all around it we're reasonably close to the summit right now but I think we're gonna push through and keep going up <laughs> sitting pretty low <laughs> Okay, I'll follow you. Watch this poor guy. We have not been up here before. Whoa, is that ever aggressive. That looks like it might be a whole next level. Yeah, too spicy for us today. That's even harder than getting up sugar. So we don't want to put ourselves at risk. Remember, we're an hour and a half away from town on top of a mountain, somewhere around 5,000 feet. Okay, turn around. We got lots more riding to do. I know guys that would ride that on their 950s, Ian and Owen McKill. Kyle Pullman, number 55, on his 450 uh, rally bike. But uh, Dumb and Dumber here with fully loaded camping setups and minimal talent. That's not us. As you may know, Andrew and I run a software company. Our software is called DATS, or Digital Action Tracking System. Big program used by lots of companies. We're really proud of it. 
What you won't know, because we haven't told anybody outside of our executive group, is that we have started to plan, and we'll start laying down code in the next couple of months, for an adventure biking app. So it'll be an online web-based system, as well as completely offline iOS and Android platform. We're gonna do a phased rollout. We're gonna have something to release for next spring and more for uh, the following years. It might even be a three-year development. There are a lot of cool ideas coming out. We've got the means to do it. We've done it before, just not for this industry. So hey, if you have some cool ideas or even an interest in getting involved in some way, let us know, reach out to us. Just go to our website for the Adventure Bike Gathering. My email's on there. Or go to our dad's website and reach out to that and say, hey, I want to talk to Scott about that Adventure Bike app thing he was talking about. Love to chat. All right, guys. Woo, it's dusty. I'm falling back. I can taste it. Like, ugh. It tastes a little tangy like cow poo. Before we descend the mountain, we've decided to do a little luggage checkup. So I'm going to check here first. We're a little close to the exhaust, but not too bad. I got my giant loop doomajiggy there. I think that because this has a lot of different attachment points, it just has more potential to maybe to be dialed in. But it, it got more to check. Like, look, I'm totally loose here. Wah! So I'm going to redo that entirely. I'm not super happy with how that's working. But I'm going to, I'm going to fix that. So I'll do that off camera. This looks tight. These side ones are really great, but you know, Andrew, I think this bag up top would do better with just more stuff in it. And like I was saying at the beginning, if I had a tent back here, it would provide that structure to it. Otherwise it's a little too floppy. But hey, I'm pretty happy with how it rides. Awesome. How's yours holding together? I think it's really good. Um, as we've seen with the Mojaves, they kind of move a bit side to side, but I think I can fix that. But front to back, this thing's still... Yeah. Rock solid. I like this too. So you're if you need a little helping hand along yeah. you can grab on that give you a pull mm -hmm. When I'm following behind you the whole thing looks really tight like it's just it moves as one unit And even with a backpack on today, I haven't even come close to hitting this. It's really nice and far back yeah. I like that because yeah, if you come down something steep and you can't get your butt over the back tire. It's pretty uh, yeah. unnerving Well, they're both great setups. I'm really happy yeah. All right, I'm gonna tighten this down then we'll go down the mountain Ooh, look at this. This is a bad setup. I got to rethink that. I thought I had looped it enough times that it wouldn't. But look at this. Oh, why'd I crash? Why'd I go over the handlebars? Why that dummy? We just made a decision to buy some more stuff. Uh, Giant Loop makes some really cool bags that go way up front there. Beside the radiator. And that's for your easy access stuff. Like, I wanted to get my, what, I have a Gerber? And on my bike, it's in the equivalent of the bottom of that thing. And I'm not going to tear that apart. I need some more easy access space. And those giant loop. What, do you have any idea what those are called? They're called the Pannier Pockets. Pannier Pockets. That's the ticket. That's the next purchase. All right. Carry on. Uh-oh. <laughs> Piece of cake. Please don't be too deep. Oh, good. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we're the first dirt bikers on this road. She's brand new. It's really neat to see them building this, too. Well, that's a little deeper. Adventure, right? I love that it's clear, so I can at least tell how deep it is. <laughs> Engage the core. The machine was in here. Wow. Huh. <laughs> 
<laughs> Very graceful. <laughs> no steering at all. Yeah, I could, it looked like your front tire was just hovering oh, above yeah. the ground the whole time. Things are looking a little rougher down here, like maybe it hasn't been worked on as much. I think that might be good. That might be good for me. I like your pick here. That looks pretty good. Ah, oh, right in the face! <laughs> you got me good. <laughs> Look at my windshield. I feel some mud on my nose. Uh, How are you doing? How are you doing? Engage your core. This is a fun little trail. It takes us from Park Mountain down to Sugar Lake. This could very well be the perfect trail for me, what I like to do. I'm not the least bit scared, I can move along at a good clip. Gets a little spicy every now and then just to keep me honest. Perfection. Well, what's wrong with this picture, hey? I didn't tighten those down very well. I know my tripod is slowly escaping. That's all right, we gotta stop every now and then. That was a pretty bumpy trail. And Gotta check stuff. Huh. Here he comes. <laughs> How do you like this little trail? It's really nice. Isn't it great? Yeah. I was saying it's one of my favorites, and I'm sure it would be yours too if yeah. you had uh, the proper setup on your suspension. Even today, I'm enjoying it. It's nice. Thank you for recommending it. Fun. A little bit of practice with the big camera. It's relatively new to us, so we go out, we do some filming, go back home, see what worked out. Got a lot of settings, and I'm shooting in full manual so I can truly learn it. And oh, this is my favorite part. Look at how good this is. What? This is what I should have been filming with the big camera. Sorry, guys, next time. I'm just gonna enjoy the ride. to be over. Look at that view. Ta -da! Sugar Lake. Sugar Mountain on the other side to the left. Just awesome. Well that was a really fun ride. What do you think about your setup over there? I'm really happy with it. Didn't move around at all today and uh, I think once the suspension gets dialed this is going to be a pretty sweet ride in the bush. Nice. Nice stuff. I like it. It's overly complicated. Right now, Giant Loop, I love the way it sits on the bike. It's simple and it's way less money. So we'll keep testing and we'll see how it goes. All right. Say goodbye.